This episode of Get Real is brought to you by BetterHelp. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash getreal10 to get 10% off your first month today. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash getreal10. Mm. I mean, in a way, I, I do try to like uh, sound more hip hop because mm. I don't want to sound too sad or corny yeah. or cheesy. And that's not me too. So, yeah. Yeah. Damn. yeah. <laughs> cool. I mean, these days, I feel like a lot of the rappers, like in the States too, they're just like, all their songs are about being depressed. No. Right. It's all like yeah. emotional sh- these days. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Get Real, where we get real with our thoughts on all things concerning life. We're your hosts, Junie, Ashley, and Penila, B2B. And we have a very, very special guest today. Sexy guest. Ooh. Ooh. But before we introduce her, <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> uh, make sure to follow and review our podcast on Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Drum roll, please. <laughs> we have Camo in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hi guys, I'm Camo. 안녕하세요, Camo입니다. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Camo, Camo. First like, time on the show. Yeah, first time. How do you feel? Ah, uh, great. Yeah. Great. Did I'm you, excited. Did you know about our show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I saw Jamie on the show. PH1. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Camo, it says yeah. your, mon- your name is short for cash money. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. How'd you start uh-huh. with that? Uh, Lil my- Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, my friend came up with that idea. I was like struggling. Mm. But yeah, it sounded good. Yeah, yeah, Were there any other like… Uh- I don't even remember. It was like… Three years ago, so. Oh, really? Oh, so yeah. three years ago. Yeah. Wow. That's not that long ago. <laughs> three and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, Camel, do you like Camel. the name? Do you like… Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's dope. Thank you. You were born in Hong Kong. Yeah. And you moved back to Korea when you were 12 years old. Yeah. Oh, so that's why you, you can speak English. Yeah, a little bit. I went to international schools when I was in Hong Kong. Nice. So oh, just wow. a little bit. I forgot a lot. So is it English, English more uh, comfortable <laughs> or Korean? Okay. Now I think it's Korean. Now? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's English, but it's mostly Korean, yeah. I think. Oh, Korean's more comfortable now? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. So you've never lived in the States or anything? No. Just Hong Kong? Yeah. Oh. But you've been there a lot. Yeah. Oh, no, only like three times. Three times? Four? Because you toured there, right? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. How was that? It was fire. It was so fun. <laughs> it was fire. How, yeah. how long were you in like America and like wherever you were like each time you were touring? Um, So uh, I think it was like two years ago. That's when I first went to LA. And uh-huh. I stayed there for like a month. And I was just like uh, hanging around. And then last year I went tour um, to LA and New York. We only stayed for like a couple of days. But mm. oh, so really, really nice. We all know you're an up and coming uh, artist. Hip hop artist in Korea, and you started. Uh, you started joining a hip hop club at school. <laughs> you started your career that way. How did that happen? I, it's, it's, it was just for fun, cause like in Hong Kong or no, in, it, Korea? in Korea. In Korea, there's a yeah. hip hop club at school. Tongari. Oh, like oh, when you're in college. Yeah. yeah oh, in college. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, there's like hip hop tongari and stuff. Yeah, yeah. there is. What? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you didn't know? Yeah. No, I mean, I didn't go to college. <laughs> you went to college. Oh, yeah. You went to <clears throat> uh, For like one semester though. Oh. So I oh. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of famous like hip hop artists that were all in the same Tongari and stuff. From Tongari? Same mm-hmm. school. Yeah. Wait, does America have like Tongaris? Uh, um, yeah, they have clubs. They, like extracurricular activities. Yeah, but they don't have like… Tongari, they like. don't have like Tongari Tongari, right? I don't no, think so. Like I don't think my club, like high school have... had like a hip hop club in America. Mine did. Well, high school never. We had like K-pop dance club. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We had those before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, I have to talk about this. Oh. Okay. Mepsi. Ah, uh, Mepsi. yes. Crazy song. Thank you. Wow, and it's Thank blowing you. up. Like everyone is like talking about it. Really? You know that, right? Really? Yeah. Like, how did this start? Like, this the song. Like, how'd you get to work so, on the song? So, um, uh, I released "Free Like Me." It's like mm. 
my older single mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. that I released last year. Is it last year? It's January. And then uh, I was just playing around just like re- having a rest. And then I started making my new project with my new a r He's Torsten. Shout out to Torsten. Shout out Torsten. And um, he had all these connections and he sent me this uh, beat pack from… MP808 from 808 Mafia, crazy. which is crazy. crazy. And for Youngin, so Youngin, David Youngin Kim, he mixed uh, all my tracks for this album. Ooh. And he's like a Grammy winning mix yeah. engineer. Three time <gasps> Grammy. Yeah, Dude's yeah, a legend. Dang. Legend. Um, Dude, that guy's got a sick name, like Youngin. Youngin. That sounds yeah. like a rapper yeah. name yeah. too, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> David and he dresses Youngin. like a rapper too. But, yeah. anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he had a connection with my AR Torsten and. Um, Hyun, he's the CEO of my label, 502. Mm. So they all knew each other back. Um, but I didn't know. But last year when I went, went on tour, I finally got to meet him. Mm. And he fought with my song. So we got to work together. And that's how it all happened. Crazy. I mean like when I first heard the song, um, it was in a studio. I think you might know Manny. Oh, Manny. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, whoa, who is this? Right? Oh, and then yeah. he's like, it's Camel. I'm like, no <laughs> It's crazy song. Yeah. And yeah, like uh, a lot of my friends who are like into hip hop as well, they're like talking about it. So oh, I was really? like, oh shit, yeah. we have her on Get Real today. It's going to be crazy. Yay. So yeah. You should <laughs> have Thank her you. on your song. Yeah, it'd be crazy if we work together Ooh, too. Yes. That'd be crazy. Um, but I know that you went on tour as well mm-hmm. um, to, to the US. Uh-huh. You had like Jamie out. Uh, J- not Jamie. Jamie in. Yeah, Thanks yeah, guys. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why are you blaming yeah. us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jamie in out and um, mm-hmm. yeah, it was. Cr- it looked real fun. How was that? Uh, it was really fun. Um, and we had a a really tight schedule. Mm. Uh-huh. It was six cities, so I've never went on a tour like that, mm. which uh-huh. is like six cities. So. Um, it was like very chaotic, but it was like super fun because like I got to connect with my fans all around the world, which yeah. I didn't even. I was really surprised. So it was really fun. The food was crazy because <laughs> like Canada, it's the like the food. Dang. Food was crazy. Okay. Like I remember this Jamaican restaurant in Toronto. Ooh. Whoa! It was like oxtail with really good rice. Yeah. It was really good, and like yeah, <laughs> yeah it was super fun. Well, what was what? like the most memorable food that you had on tour? Was it that, food. that one? Yeah. The oxtail? Yeah. And Chick-fil-A every time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I still never Chick-fil-A. had Chick-fil-A. You've never had Chick-fil-A? Yeah, I've never had Chick-fil-A. Really? It's pretty good. Really? It's really good. I always I mean, buy the good. sauce. It's good, but I think it's like a little overhyped, but it's it's good. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. I like chicken, so… Yeah. Then yeah. you'll like it. You'll like it. Okay. Is it and better than Mom's Touch? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a different style. Compared hey, to me, man, Mom's Touch hey, is we bomb. could get a sponsorship from Mom's Touch. I love Take you, Mom's Touch. You're a fucking guy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, compared to Chick fil A, though, it's oh. like. So it's like, uh, Chick, if Chick fil A is like, we'll just say it's like gourmet food, right? Mm. And then Mom's Touch would be like your like, high school cafeteria. Like. Oh, mm. I see, I see. Okay. Really? I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. Mom's Touch? Yeah. Dude, it's just chicken and mayonnaise. It's all mayonnaise. <laughs> Camel, right. do you like Mom's, Mom's Touch? touch? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> like, it wasn't I haven't memorable. Had Mom's Touch in a while. Damn. So. Okay. No, Damn. Like, it doesn't taste bad, but like. Okay, we get it. We get it. You said it. We get it. But yeah, you gotta get the Chick fil A sauce. Okay. Yeah, the I sauce will. is good. I will. Yeah. Also, I saw you recently appeared on the Pishik show. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that was cute. Yeah, that was so fun. I yeah, love them. Amazing. Oh, I, love it. I found out who they were. Finally. I, I, no, I knew about them. I just didn't know the oh. name oh, of the show. I see, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You should be on that too. Me? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, 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 like when they're on camera oh, 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 <laughs> you should you should go on the show. Yeah, go on the show. Hey guys, we should do like a get real Pishik Tea. Damn, yeah. that'd be fun, man. But we we probably be mad quiet. Like they're yeah. just gonna yeah, steal the damn show. <laughs> we should be like be talking. laughing the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm shy, so <laughs> I'm, I'm reading through these fun facts, and it says it took you took uh, took the college entrance exams twice. Yeah, Yeah, because there was an earthquake. 
There was an earthquake I, that, that when was you were actually t- a second exam, but… Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking it… Okay, so when you were taking it for the second time… Yeah. There was an earthquake and the exam got pushed back a week. A week. Where was this? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. But yeah. Oh, there was a big God. earthquake. So like the school… Some schools were like… Were down. Damn. So they had to like… Yeah, Wait, so, like like the building collapsed? Yeah, some of the schools like all in Korea. Oh no. That's what I heard. So what? they had to postpone because they needed new places to take the exams. Oh. Stuff. Wait, so does that mean that the whole grade has to retake yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the date was postponed. Like my… Is was it, it better? So was it like… Uh, yes, I have more time to study or like… Uh, no, I was like devastated. Fuck, I wanted to get it over with. I wanted to get it over with. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. And I have like plans every single day just for that day. And right. then I just got like extra week. Holy… And like… In that time, I can like… You know… Forget stuff. So mm. I had to oh, like right, 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 more right. concentrate. And I was more pressured. Damn. How long but ago was, was this? Uh, I think it was like… <sighs> Four or five years ago. Four or five years ago. Mm. Wait, there was an earthquake. How do we not know about? Yeah. Years? How do we not know about this earthquake? I yeah. get like I literally get my news <laughs> from shit. Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and like there isn't much about Korean. No, news. Yeah. no, it's like the whole algorithm thing. It's like messing everything up. Like you can't see what's going on in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You felt the earthquake? Ah, uh, I don't think so. I don't remember. I was just like sleeping, getting ready for it the next day. And my dad was waking me up saying like a week is postponed. I, was, oh. I thought he was joking. Oh, what the… And then, yeah. Wow. I saw the news and that oh was happening. Yeah. Wait, what was um, being a Kosam third year student in high school like in Korea? In Korea? Yeah. Because <sighs> you know they say like it's the stress is tough. Like the uh, uh, it's, academic it's really stress. stress. Yeah, it's really… Tough, like um, no, I would never want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck no, yeah um, I I would have like seven classes and then um, stay at school till 10 p.m. and then go to the doksaje <laughs> till like two, come back home, sleep, wake up at like six. Yeah, see, this yeah. is some crazy, sh- crazy people stuff, in high man. school shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like where's the time for your hobbies? Like, wh- no time. Hobbies and like, that's when you're <laughs> supposed to be growing and. Sh- Two yeah, and like yeah. no sunlight. Wow. Yeah. That's insane, man. <laughs> and oh my gosh. freaking no wonder the depression rate is so high in Korea. I mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, Wait, so you um or your original goal or dream wasn't to become a rapper? Yeah, not husband? at all. Oh. Oh. I, I thought I was gonna just study for my whole life. Wow. Oh, was there like a subject that you particularly liked? Um well, <laughs> Mm, I guess not. Yeah, not <laughs> really. But, um, well, when I went in co- to co- college… Yeah, yeah. Um, what was your major? Uh, international law and economics. But I was bad at economics. But I was like really interested in law. So mm, I just so thought… you were going to be a lawyer? Yeah, a lawyer Ooh. or like Damn. study for CPA. Because that's what my friends did in my major. Mm. So I thought I was going to do that. But <laughs> this happened. Damn. And then you went to the hip-hop to Wadi. No, and then she went to the hip-hop and changed your life. She knows… Like uh, bar exam, yeah. like write that into a lyrics. No, I only went for a year, so yeah. <laughs> so I got better bars than you yeah. guys because I took the <laughs> bar exam. <laughs> Four bars. <laughs> what was your parents' reaction when you were like? Because it's like every like Korean parents like mm. dream for their kid to become like a doctor, a yeah. lawyer, or whatever, right? Yeah. So you're on the road to becoming a lawyer, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden you're like. No, nah, mom. I want to do this hip hop shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. What was their reaction? So like, um, uh, my mom was like that typical Korean mom. Uh, where uh, uh. She was like pressuring me really hard to study. But my dad was really chill, and he was actually who made me listen to hip hop. Oh. So okay. I thought he would be chill when I first told them, but he like, wasn't chill at all. Actually, he wasn't chill <laughs> at all. He was like, he was kind of like. Kind of pissed off Whoa. at first, <laughs> but my mom was like really supportive. Wow, because like, oh, she, was a, she, oh. yeah, yeah. Like, a, like she told me I look really happy. Oh, and then my dad um, wasn't really like agreeing with the idea because mm. like he just thought it was kind of bullshit. Because I don't know anything about music. I never like learned any like uh, instruments mm. or like anything. I didn't know anything about oh, music. Okay. So my dad was opposed, but. 
I think like three months later from that period, um, it was when I posted like a lot of music on SoundCloud. Mm. And then one day he picked me up from school and he was listening to that oh. in his car. Oh. So I was like, okay, he's… Do you tear up a little bit? Yeah. Aww. And now they're like really supportive. Oh, hell good. yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you making crazy <laughs> <music>? <laughs> His dad was like, I let you listen to three hip hop songs and you yeah. think you could yeah. do this <laughs> yeah. Are your parents yeah. in the arts or entertainment field? Not at no. all. Oh. Not yeah, at all. not at all. Completely different. Yeah. That's cool though. They're supportive <laughs> about it now. Yeah. And just listening to your music, like mm-hmm. people would think, oh, she must be like, you know, mm-hmm. loves to like party, go mm-hmm. out, and have mm-hmm. some, have a good time. But yeah. since you're a homebody, <laughs> <laughs> I do party a lot. But other than that, I just stay home. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> yeah, I yeah. am a homebody. Um, I just watch Netflix all day. All Did day. you Did you watch The Glory? No. Oh my god. Oh, you didn't watch that? Yet? <laughs> what are you, you watching? You watch right Netflix now? all day. I, I watch like old K dramas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Like oh, but I don't. I don't recommend watching Glory until like season two comes out because for me it's like you don't want to wait. It yeah, just like, cut off. It cuts off. Yeah, because it like cuts off in the middle. So I was mm. like, why did I start? I was like, <laughs> like mm. yeah. That's I, what I don't know. I, I don't too. know how your like till. personality is, but um. Do you like waiting or like do you like binge watching like all at once? Mm, I think I'm the same with you. Yeah, right. I just He's wait just and then just watch everything. Watch everything yeah. all at once. Yeah. Why mm. do you like old Korean dramas? Uh, it's light. First of all, it's light. The conflict is not that deep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just funny and it's just like family like… So it's just… Yeah. Haiki, Oh, that's the oh, okay. oh, okay. like, 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 I was like, thinking like, like Stairway to Heaven. No, no, yeah, no, I was like, no, like, 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 yeah, like, I was like, I was like, oh, yeah. I remember like someone like died so they could give their like eyes <laughs> yeah, to some yeah. girl, and like, I was like, I don't know this light. <laughs> no, I recently, I really, uh, my friends told me um, about Boys Over Flowers. Yeah, sure. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, like that. That's, I never like, that's pretty light. No, I never watched it, but then apparently it was like the. In Korea, right? Your hair yeah. looks like Kujumpyo right now. No, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> it feels but black like, and like a little longer. Yeah, uh, like but dude, like that show's mad corny, dude. Like I didn't know it'd be that corny. <clears throat> yeah. Well, if yeah. you look at it now, then it's, it's like way more corny. Yeah. But like back then… It was, we didn't know any yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> no, any better. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't yeah. know. Yeah. It's yeah. cool. It's cool. Interesting to see like how K-drama is like evolving. Because I'm so used to the K-drama now. Mm-hmm. And like right. you don't get those kind of dramas anymore. Yeah. The corny yeah. ones? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you want corny dramas? No, like, I, mean, I don't time? think there are any on Netflix anymore. But Like the… What's it called? Like that… The Did you watch Kupo Yes. Yeah, yeah like of course. Like the… That like um, meme or whatever. Like that jar that like, keeps popping up on my uh-huh. Instagram feed. Like, <laughs> oh… Jo yo jo juho girlfriend. What is that? Which one is that? Juho ko yo jo charamba. What is that? I guess I think like some person was. I don't know if the person is actually Japanese. Oh. But they were. I don't know if it's like an actual Japanese person or not. But they were supposed to be Japanese, and they're like, they were like asking him if like some girl is the guy's girlfriend. Ah. Uh. And it's like, oh jo yo jo juho girlfriend. <laughs> Damn. Like, Dang. <laughs> Dang. They actually let the <laughs> slide back there. No, that's so yeah, exactly, dude. Speaking of Kopalamcha, <laughs> we gotta talk about relationships and dating culture. <laughs> smooth transition. Valentine's Day. Yeah, man. That was as smooth as yeah. smooth, the dramas from back smooth as I can get. <laughs> What's Valentine's Day culture like in Hong Kong? Do you remember? In Hong Kong? I think we just… Since I was like really young, mm-hmm. I think we just gave out like chocolates and wrote cards to each other's. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. Is it, Classmates. Is it like… Is it more similar to Korea or America? Like Valentine's Day? Because like America, mm. there isn't like a white day or like uh-huh. whatever. It's yeah. kind of just Valentine's and they just kind of give presents to each other. Uh-huh. But then in Korea, you know, there's like… Valentine's, oh, Valentine's Day is for men is and then day. white day is for women. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And that oh, stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know if it's more similar to… Uh, it's similar to… Um, the Western? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There's no like white day or pepper yeah. day or anything. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember in high school there's always like that one Cupid guy like comes to every classroom. Oh, oh my god. Like, like, like so someone so, someone the, so the gave secret you, valentine yeah. or whatever. Yeah. 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 Someone oh. so gave you this. Two for Coco. Yeah. yeah. And like I was so sad because I never got him. Oh. Yeah. 
It's okay. It's okay. Like, wait, guys, what the hell is this reaction to Like, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, yeah. uh, oh, I'm not surprised. But, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, but like Valentine's Day used to be such a big deal to me. But mm. now it's like… Really? I don't care at all. It's mm. like just another day. Do you think kids care right now? Like kids in middle school or… I think so. I think kids still would like to, you know, receive flower, um, like flowers and mm. candy. I'm sure there's like a lot of kids hurt like you that never got. I know. Any, shout like, out to those. <laughs> I'm with you guys. Don't worry. Have you ever <laughs> sent any of the secret Valentine stuff? Um, I think I have. Yeah, to someone that I that I like. Oh. I never got it back. But. Oh. but it's okay. It's all good because you know. <laughs> it's because you did it in a secret. Yeah, yeah. It's because I did it yeah. in a secret. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this going in <laughs> such a weird direction? Um, have you have you ever sent any of those? Yeah, every year. Yeah, I'm oh, sure she got a lot though. No, like, no, not no? really. But yeah. he's like, no, only like a hundred. Yeah, not no. only like a couple, a couple no. hundred. Yeah, like, no. Wait, did you go to international school in Korea too? No. Or normal, uh, regular? Like, yeah, regular. Korea. Was it all female school or co-ed? Um, all together. Uh, together. All together. Yeah. So is there so like, like, do do they do that stuff in um Korea, in Korea? too? Oh, like the secret Valentine school, stuff? Oh, mm, not really. Never went to school. Oh, not really. But they would put like chocolates in the locker just Ooh. secretly, you know? Oh. Would, yeah, in Korea. Oh, wait, you guys have lockers? Yeah. Yeah, they have lockers in the back like, of the, the back classroom. Of the, oh, yeah, 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 not like the long lockers, mm. right? No, because in I mean, Korea. They have that too, but it depends on the mm. schools. Mm. Because Korea, it's like you stay in the same classroom. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then the yeah. teacher just comes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But then. Uh, in America, starting like don't you have to move around? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like yeah. pretty much like college, but starting junior high and high school, like you mm. keep doing that. Yeah, I recently no, like, learned about hak hakju, hakju. Yeah, what so it's like that? so right. I didn't know what it was, but he, so that this person is like the the top of all the teachers. Mm. So like the you don't principal? mess with this person, like the dean, like the principal, like, or like he will like. Beat you. <laughs> no, not, beat you. <laughs> not like beat you, but like That's you know, hack poke, bro. Not hack <laughs> you. <laughs> no, but like someone that like puts you in order, puts you on order. Like if you're like outside in the hallway, be like, hey, get back in the classroom. Oh, like those kind of guys. Okay. Yeah. So like they have my friends have a lot of memories about like trying to get away from the hall monitors. It's kind of like a hall monitor, but they're basically. teachers. Yeah, but they're teachers. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But like the dean that we know is more like oh, the dean of the school is very like you know, hey everybody. But it's like hack <laughs> is like. Be shit. Yeah. Like oh, okay. yeah. no, I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. guys, there's no more corporal punishment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of, course not. of course not. No more. Yeah, of course not. Oh yeah, no more. But, yeah. Yeah, no but more. I did grow up I've getting seen, it. I've seen. Did you? I did. Oh damn. Like, cause I went to school here till third grade, so like on the ruler stuff. Yeah, um, not like not whacking like, my dude, ass. I saw, but, I like, saw my it in, when I was cool. Some you got hit. No, I didn't get hit. Oh yeah, but back in the day, our parents' days, like. It's oh crazy. yeah, it was yeah. way worse. But yeah, apparently I mean, it was like crazy. even when I was cool, some I saw a few kids getting hit. Oh, <gasps> but not these days. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I hope hopefully so. not. I hope not. Yeah. These days, it would probably be all over social media. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> happen. Yeah. Wait. So, what are you gonna do for Valentine's Day this year? Um, just chill. Just have yeah. fun. Go more Netflix. Forward. Yeah, more Netflix. <laughs> it's not really a special day for me. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Not not a very like romantic like. Uh, I don't really like celebrate h- holidays like that. Mm. Just, no Christmas, no birthday. Just like hang out. Oh, not even birthdays. Yeah, not really. Like go f- like restaurant maybe, but. Mm. Oh, I'm mean, uh, no I, big deal <gasps> for me. I feel the same way about birthdays though. Yeah. Hey Ashley, can you figure out her MBTI? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just like give our, me some. Oh. Just give me <laughs> like ten more minutes. MBTI. Oh my bad, my I, bad. I'm trying to still figure. Oh, yeah, 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 still yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah. I am. Yeah, right, not really that big, but yeah, yeah. Wait, what? She's like, yes, I am. <laughs> no, not really that big. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait even excited. when you're dating someone, you don't uh-huh. care about like the anniversaries or like Peggy or anything? Yeah, I'm pretty chill. Damn. Wow. If it's like a year anniversary, I would care. But oh. not that much. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but you're not like super into it's like the 100th day, 200th nah, day. Like, no, nah, not at all. Cause That's hard to count, man. What, yeah. what if it's one year anniversary and your partner… Didn't even remember. Didn't do anything for you. I, I will tell him. Yo, do you remember what day it is today? And be I'll like, just no. Talk it out. What if he says no? Oh, it's all day. Because like, I sometimes forget too. Wow. Oh, so chill. No, you know, so chill. <laughs> were you always like a homebody? Or like… Did you used to like going out and stuff? And then… Because for me, I used to… Like, if I was home all day… I would feel like… 
tap 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 like kind of like suffocated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, I have to go out and mm-hmm. do something like at least once. But then because mm-hmm. of Corona, mm-hmm. and then like I got surgery on my um on my Achilles, so then it was like hard to go out and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'm like after just like being home like constantly, mm-hmm. now I'm kind of like it's kind of annoying to go out now. Like, yeah. <laughs> was there like a like a something that happened that kind of made your why? homebody no, or like just, or have you just always been? No, nah, I think yeah, COVID hit and then I became a homebody. Oh, I used to go oh. Out, so yeah. before that, you used to go out a yeah, lot and stuff, but yeah. Yeah. but now yeah, I just go out when it's dark. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when it's dark. <laughs> okay. When, it, when the night time. You're it's, a night owl. Yeah. 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 So right. if we ever pop up with all of our blood missing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell me which yeah. clubs are of hot course, these days. Of course. Yeah. Of course. I don't know anything. Really? Yeah. Apku, she knows, she Apku's knows. popping right now. That's Apku's what I keep hearing. Yeah. Apparently there are like so many clubs in Rodeo. Yeah, Rodeo. Hot. Oh really? Wait, I go to Rodeo. I didn't know there were any clubs there. Really? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Well, it's popular right now. Dang. Really? Yeah. Wait, but is it like crowded? Like there's no room to dance? You can always come to a back room. Back so, room? What's yeah. that? It's nice. It's for <laughs> it's yeah, nice. Yeah, 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 my, yeah, my, friends are, my friends always have a gig there. And oh. like… um, Yeah, so… I always just go back and oh. chill there. Yeah. Because I want to go there to dance. But if it's like… I dance there too. Suffocating, it's like, not that. Oh. But it's sometimes it's really packed. It's very packed in su- Saturdays mm. and Fridays. Yeah, probably. Those yeah. are the days. Yeah. But it's nice. To it's actually really clubs. nice. The music's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it hip-hop, hip-hop or EDM? Uh, Hip-hop. Like it depends. It depends on which club. club. Yeah, which club. But yeah. like okay. where I go, it's hip-hop. No EDM, please. Yeah. <laughs> no, because like… Because like… <laughs> before like way back… Yeah. There used to be like EDM zone and like hip hop zone like oh. in the same club. But uh-huh. those clubs are big. These are like yeah, but smaller, they were like, like bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. like the Rodeo ones, I heard like I've heard that there were clubs, but I don't mm. even know where they, they do are. They do a lot yeah. of like throwback stuff, like a lot of throwback At the clubs? songs. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's what I heard. Mm. On one of the one of the clubs that but are like you hot. know what's sad? Like throwbacks are like what we used to like listen to in high school now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Probably. laughs> that's why we would. Well, they would be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Dating yeah. culture change. Wait, Juni. Yeah. How do you usually spend your Valentine's? What do you do? Um, damn. I don't think I do anything, honestly. I think I just hang out with Leo now. I have a dog. Mm, His name's Leo? Leo, yeah. Make sure um, Leo doesn't need any chocolates. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, not good. it's poison for dogs. This episode of Get Real is brought to you by BetterHelp. Don't you love it when you wake up and feel like you can tackle whatever comes at you and just conquer the world? That feeling of being your best self? But then, sometimes, life can be hard and it can bog you down. Working with a therapist can help you overcome these obstacles to empower you and bring you closer to your best self. Personally, I've always thought something was wrong with me, with the way I was approaching the many problems and concerns in life. But after therapy, I realized it was all about having the right mindset and perspective. I never thought talking to someone and going through therapy can help me with tackling problems. Talking with a therapist is a great way to learn about yourself, find possible solutions that can help you with many of life's problems and can even help you become a better person overall. If you're looking to give therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great solution. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. It's convenient and 100% online, so it's accessible from anywhere. Plus, if things aren't clicking, you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash getreal10 to get 10% off your first month today. That's betterhelp.com slash getreal10. I don't know, but it's so cold, man. The weather's so cold these days. Like, no, but it's warming up going. again. Yeah, it's, it's today. actually like, yeah, really dude. warm today. Yeah. Damn. I was just about to take my jacket yeah. off. <laughs> really was what high. was it like? Minus fifteen degrees, like a couple days ago. Yeah, like minus sixteen. <laughs> oh, it was like minus so eighteen. What? Like That's Celsius crazy. on like last Tuesday, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, it got pretty crazy. Hong I remember Kong's, like yeah. my my apartment is pretty old. 
So then… Yeah, I thought it was like… I thought I was in North Korea or some <laughs> The first time they did this like… They have these like PA systems like in the house. And they start like announcing sh- in the apartment. Like… I was like… Wow. Yo, what the f-? I was like… <laughs> um, but they were like… It was pretty much like… Avoid doing laundry at night. Because it might like freeze. <gasps> and then it's going to cause like the water to overflow and stuff. Oh and like the God. lower houses and stuff like that. And then they were like… Close like all the veranda doors. Like close all the windows. Like turn the water on a little bit when you sleep. And I was like… Dang. I was like… How cold is it? And I looked at it. It was like negative 18. I was like… Dude. Celsius. I was like… Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that me. happened in our old dorm. And it was not fun trying to thaw the… Heating system. Because oh it's outdoors. It was like outside. Because our apartment had hallways. It was right, one of right, those right. older ones. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My old froze, house was like yeah. That. So my manager and I had to get like hot packs. Like a bunch of hot packs. Put it in there. Like get hot like steam towel. Put it in there. Damn. Yeah. It's mm. not fun. They said don't put like hot water on it. Because if it gets like too hot all of a sudden it could burst or yeah. something Explode. like that. Wow. So yeah. a lot of people say like yeah do like hot packs or like hair dryer or something like slowly like thaw it. Mm. Mm, yeah. What do you think about Tinder? What's your what's your say on Tinder? Um I have like three or four couples that met through like Tinder mm. and they 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 one of them are engaged. Wow. In Korea? Yeah. Oh, oh. dang. Damn. Like, so I mean yeah. Good for them. Yeah, right? good yeah. for them. Yeah. Like, good for I have them. no like opinions on that. Mm. What is your like style? Like do you um are you like a Chinese rock yeah, Chamanchu. Yeah, Chamanchu. Yeah. Mm. I think everyone, almost everyone's like that. Especially if you do music and stuff. Like, mm. Yeah. Like, you don't want to, like, mm. it'd be weird. To, like, Would yeah. you, yeah. let's say you weren't like a, like a public figure, right? Mm-hmm. Would you ever try, do you think you would ever try Tinder or like any of those mm. dating apps? I have no idea. I don't know. I really honestly don't know. I might when I get desperate, but. <laughs> <laughs> There was never a point. Because right? she got like a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She never had to go there. Yeah, she never had to go to that. She never got to that point. So. All right. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think if I lived in New York, I would try it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, in New York maybe. I don't know. I feel like it would just be so awkward. Like you're just like… Hmm. <laughs> but like that's the norm for so many people there. Mm. Like yeah, all of my friends, true. they're all on apps because once you reach a certain age or once you start working, you meet the same people all the time. Yeah. And with right, COVID too, it's hard to meet new people. So. I guess, I guess. And there's so many apps in America. There's like Tinder, there's Hinge, there's Coffee Meets Bagel. There's like oh. a premium app which you pay. And then there's like celebrities. The ones that celebrities use. Like oh, so really? many. You oh, really yeah. did your research on this stuff. <laughs> yeah, right? man, like, yeah. <laughs> How yeah. do you know so much? Well, actually? Well, actually, well, actually. <laughs> apparently there's one for celebrities or famous people. Because you know like… It's you you to, don't want yeah, your yeah. face on right, like, Tinder. Okay. And so mm. And they, you want to meet someone. I guess they want to meet someone on like their level. Like status. Mm. So they pay every month. And… You could see like other… So someone said they once saw a really famous basketball player on it. Oh. Yeah. I think basketball players Is that players someone new like Ashley? Huh? Is that someone new? No. <laughs> I'm in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in back and forth from America. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. But sometimes okay. I am kind of like jealous of that lifestyle. Really? What like lifestyle? I want to see… I want to know what it's like. Just like going on dates with mad people. <laughs> what is going on dates no, like, with mad like people? Going mad on Tinder people? dates with like a lot of people. I think you said people. you want to go on dates with <laughs> angry men. Like, 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 like New York lingo coming out. <laughs> mad means like yeah, hella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then like no, the way you said it, you were like, yeah, I want to go on dates with like mad people. Like there was like a pause. If you were like, I want to go on dates with mad people, like it would have been like, oh okay. But you're like, I want to go on dates with like. Mad, mad people. people. <laughs> <laughs> like, you okay, pervert? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to experience that, but I also want to ex- want to experience what it was like to date in our parents' generation. Mm. You know, when they had to write letters. You know, when they had to set oh. a date mm. in like before advance. Before email, even like yeah. Yeah. Mm. it was like, okay, we're gonna meet next week at this cafe at eight p.m. And you have no way of knowing if they're actually coming, but you just gotta go and wait. And you gotta mm. send like a. Pigeon with like letters attached to their feet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's something so pure and 
genuine about that. Yeah. yeah. Ride it's your easier horse to, to their house. It's mm-hmm. easier to date now, <laughs> but we've lost a lot of the the romance, I think, right? Mm. That's involved. Yeah. The rom- yeah. I mean, technology, like everything just got easier to do. Yeah. Yeah. And there are, oh, people are always texting now, you know? Yeah. yeah. Not even phone calls, it's more like text. Yeah. yeah. I mean, do you do you prefer texting or like phone calls? Like if if like let's say you have like urgent like something urgent to talk about. Uh-huh. Urgent then yeah phone call. Phone call. Phone call. If it's urgent yeah. like ten seconds call then phone call. Ten but seconds. I just like text, text. Ten seconds max. Yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like yeah, yeah 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 hold up hold up. <laughs> hey text me now. Text me now. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wait, can you text with uh-huh. your fingers? Oh uh, yeah. Uh-huh. What? Oh, I just oh, like, oh, nails. Nails. oh okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like what do you text with? <laughs> like, what the text with your feet? <laughs> you're used to it now, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm used to it now. Damn. Oh, but y- you're probably like super loud when you text yes. them. It's probably like. <laughs> I like that though. I like that noise. You like that noise? Yeah. ASMR? Yeah. Okay. Satisfying. <laughs> Is like the romance lost, do you think? Like in the whole. I feel like. um, Like letters to emails to text. Mm, I guess the depth is definitely uh, different because like you don't yeah, like spend time mm. thinking about the person. You have you have to wait and yeah. you know. It's more convenient, but yeah, there's that like special thing where like, um, you're waiting for someone, but you can't right away hit them up. You're just mm-hmm. like you're gonna you're just expecting them to show up. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, there's that kind of thing, and you see them like across the street. You're like, oh my god, and you feel happy. Mm-hmm. I think I think there's that special part of it. Yeah, yeah. I did kind yeah. of get to experience that when we had our phones taken away. So the only way to <laughs> communicate <laughs> with my um, oh. parents and also my then boyfriend, long distance boyfriend, was through email, and oh. there was something like really cute about that. Yeah, just mm-hmm. exchanging emails back and forth, and it wasn't just like, "Hey, what are you doing?" It was like a whole like, essay, like yeah. a whole page. like a diary, pretty much. Oh. Like yeah, what yeah, you yeah, did yeah. That Like day today we did this. Like, oh my god, they pissed me off. <laughs> like, Damn, it was cute. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how they did it with pagers though. Like the pager thing. Oh, oh pagers. Yeah, like beep, beep. Beep. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't even I've never used it. Yeah, so. I never used it either. <laughs> I've seen my dad's before. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know how they used it. It's like you get like a thing, it's like call this number and you have to call them. Mm. So there's like a lot of toll like toll um toll phones? Books, yeah, pay phones oh. and shit. So you go and you just call random people and there's people lining up. In front of the mm. front of the phone, it's crazy. And then there's yeah. sometimes like they used to do it with like numbers. They used to send like messages. Hello, like oh, well, quickly. Then. If it's like quickly, it's like putty putty. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, stuff like that. I mean, if you guys want to know, you can watch the reply 1997. Yeah, that's or what I found out about all these things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh dang! There's probably like a lot of different ones between like mm. America and Korea because America had like a few too, mm. like the mm. short. Cut like message stuff. Mm. I don't know about them, but damn. Yeah. Oh, Cam, are you the type to like talk about your personal like love life and your music, or no? You just you just talk about whatever. I do actually. It's yeah. all about it's all your personal personal yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Wow. Great. Yeah. <laughs> it's a common topic. Yeah. It yeah. Is. It's like what well, what if what if you start running out? Have you ever run out before? She's like, well, then I she's like start... time for Tinder. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I write about other stuff if I run out. Uh. But I mean, there's so much uh, things to think about when it comes to those stuff. So yeah, yeah. Damn. How do you balance that out? Because like, because it's hip hop, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want to get too mm-hmm. sappy. Yeah. You want to make it like dope, mm-hmm. but then you want to talk about your feelings. But talking mm-hmm. about your feelings can lead. Get you to become very emotional. So how do you like? Uh, is there a way to balance that out, or it's just you're just naturally rap. like hip hop? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said whatever you say, like it's just hip hop. Uh, um, uh, I don't know. She's um, like, I am hip hop. No, yeah. no, no. Like, I'm just, I have I mean, swagger. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever I do is hip hop. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. Uh, I feel being emotional is hip hop too. Mm. I mean, in a way, I, I do try to like. Uh, sound more hip hop because mm. I don't want to sound too sad or corny yeah. or cheesy, and that's not me too. So yeah, yeah. 
Damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, these days, I feel like a lot of the rappers, like in the States too, they're just like, all their songs are about being depressed. No. Right. It's all like yeah, emotional it's, these days. Yeah. So. It's like, mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Emotional hip hop, I guess. And like before too, like it used to be all like angry, like rap. So mm. it's like. Yeah. Like angry to society. Mm. Yeah. Is there any, um, any artists that you like listening to these days? Uh, you want to collaborate with? Collaborate? Yeah. Blast? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, he's dope. Uh, I, I'm still listening to Metro Boomin's yeah. uh, album. Okay. Do you hear Lil Yadi's new album? Oh, actually, I uh, oh, he heard the new first album? song, but I haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, it's like, it's, it's different. It's yeah, different. yeah, I heard. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to listen to that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still she listening to Bia. Lil Yachty. Oh, Lil Yachty? <laughs> Yachty. She looks so long. <laughs> you, might, you actually might like Lil him. Yeah. He's a very sweet dude. Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay. So cool. Yeah. He's the… Remember the one where we were like… He took the wall. Mm. Like yeah, last yeah. time. Do you remember? Dude, that was <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Do you remember yeah. when we talked about it last time? You don't? No. Oh. I don't think she was… She was cause cause she was the one that was like oh oh yeah and then we were like I was like oh what the heck yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, it's that, it's that, song, that it's that, that, that guy dude, yeah that guy <laughs> but anyways yeah um you know how in Korea there are a lot of female not a lot of female rappers who openly like talk and sing about sex and mm-hmm. rap about that yeah. how is that like what is the reception um the reception I guess like when I first. I mean, that's just me, and that's, I, I feel like that's very natural. Mm-hmm. But when I first uh, released my songs, there were some like mm-hmm. like bad um, feedbacks. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. But it's now bad. it's just chill. I think everyone just like chill about it. I yeah. don't know. I just I don't really check the comments out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah. I I don't recommend looking at comments. Either. Yeah. It's, Especially if you're in the entertainment industry, I don't yeah. recommend looking at comments. Yeah. yeah. I Especially if you're you. doing something, yeah. if you're doing something that's very bold, mm. like um, you're trying to like step out of like the yeah. box that everyone just kind of puts you into. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't check the comments. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I just try to um, look at uh, positive comments. Mm. And, that's good. Like, that's good. Feedbacks are always welcome, but like there are some yeah, just it's haters, not like feedback. Right? If it's like yeah, criticism, yeah, so, like, like constructive yeah. criticism, yeah. Yeah, yeah, then it's like okay, yeah. okay, I see where you're coming from, but yeah. some people just want to hate. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Are you so mad? Mm. Yeah. You can't yeah. please everyone. Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like every everyone's really chill. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, I feel like it's kind of like um, what's his name? Uh, uh, the the stand up comedian, uh, Dave David. Because him too, like uh, Danny, Danny, Danny. not Danny, Danny, Danny. Yeah. Danny. Because uh, him too, he said that like Korean people, they try to put on this like innocent like facade. But then, like, if you're at a freaking like surjari with them, like, mm. they talk about some like nasty shit, you know. Mm. So then he was pretty much like, okay, you could say this at surjari, but then you can't say this on stage. And then mm. he he's trying to like break that yeah. barrier too and stand up. Yeah. yeah. So then you know it's like the same thing, but through like hip hop music. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I mean, if they're saying that shit while they're drunk, then you know. It's, yeah. yeah. They'll probably enjoy listening to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you have mm. a lot of close girlfriends in the scene? Like in the music scene? Mm, uh, maybe like five or six. Oh. Maybe more or less. And she's uh, like, can I be number seven? Yeah. I don't cool. Jamie. Oh. Uh, was on the show. Um, PB. We haven't talked oh. but we're still Wait, friends. This time it was Jamie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie. Okay. This yeah. Time. Yeah. For real Jamie. Yeah. Um, Mirani. Onni. Oh. She was on the show too, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Bryn. Bryn should be oh. on the show too. Bryn's like really talented. And who else? I mean, there's some more, but yeah. Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of talented female yeah. hip hop rappers, artists. Yeah. Do you ever want to go on a survival audition program? Kind of thing? <sighs> survival. No. I don't want to no. compete. Yeah. No. No more. Yeah. <laughs> She just wants to. She just wants to stay home yeah. and watch Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, are you in in T? No, no way. I N T. What's the last one? I feel like the last one is the hardest though. I, no, I feel like T. What do you think she is? For sure, P. I N T J. I N T P. Right. What do you think? <sighs> What? I feel like she would be totally like a P. Like she wouldn't. P? Yeah. I'm I'm such a J. 
What? Yeah. INTJ? INTJ. INTJ? So yeah. it's like INTJ and ISTJ. What the fuck? Wow. But like, wow. Expert. That's Every crazy. Expert. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dude. You get an applause for that? Wow. wow. MBTI. She gets the MBTI. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's a talent. <laughs> Damn. Well, Damn. INTJ, you're such a J when it comes yeah. to work. What about outside of work? Outside of uh, P. Yeah, like when I go out, that's totally P. But when it comes even to music. though like I plan everything. Like wow. everything wow. Like, in my mind. How I should spend oh, my what? day and shit. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn. That's why… Phone calls like 10 seconds. 10 seconds, that's all. <laughs> hey, 10 seconds, you gotta hang up right, now. Right. <laughs> 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 oh. Damn. Okay, well, do you have any wow. plans to like branch out into the States? Um, like, I would like to. I don't really have any plans for that, but um, just uh, going on tour and like, I mean, music is so global and I have so many global listeners. It's always so… It's definitely different from connecting with Korean audiences and global audiences. And so mm-hmm. I just try to go out and, you know, meet new people. Because mm. I guess… I think that's like really important. And um, yeah, that's what I try to work on for this new project. Is nice. the way that like people receive your music completely different too? Like, yeah. in America? Because I feel like it'll kind of be like the same as like the, the stand-up crowd, you know? Like… I feel like if it's like a Korean show, yeah. they're gonna kind of be like nunchi and like, oh, like is it okay mm. to enjoy this song? Mm. Mm. But then in America and stuff, you know, they'll probably just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They love it. yeah. yeah. Is it kind of like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, all this freaking like nunchi buying yeah. like, <laughs> culture in Korea. Wait, do you have more female fans or male fans? You think? <sighs> um. So it started off more female and now I think it's like half half. Ooh. Or maybe more female. But mm. yeah. Like 60-40? I actually don't know. It was like 60-40. Yeah. 60 I don't know about that. now though. Mm. Cool. Now, yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. But that's good. That's even if it's like 60-40, that's a really good like balance. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. more to come, right? I don't even yes. know how you yeah. know that stuff though. How do you, uh, how do you find that stuff? Statistics. A- great A&R. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. They'll let you know. <laughs> and also, if you go into your Instagram, you could see. Oh, I mean, you're probably like ninety nine percent girls. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know what I'm going to do with that information, but alright. Time for Tinder, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jun, you're going on tour too, right? Yeah, I'm going on tour. Are you going on tour when? anytime soon? Uh, yeah, after yeah. dropping my album. Album? Wait, nice. when is that coming out? Um, February twenty third. Oh, oh that's soon. Okay. When are you going on tour? I'm going on tour. Uh, North America tour. Uh, February fifth. Starting February 12th, I believe. Oh, oh shit! If you guys soon. if you guys overlap, you guys should guest at each other's yeah. show. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like yeah. seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, me let me know. Yeah. Wait, how well, long are you going for? A long time, Ashley. A long yes. time. Yeah, you'll be I mean, happy. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm stuck with Camille. I know. I love it. I can't wait to see the episodes. <laughs> but yeah, He's I'm going like, to no, be on tour. No, it's okay. I won't come. You could just do it by yourself. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I want to know about more about your album though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let them know. Uh, I have 13 tracks. What? Yeah. <gasps> It's yeah. a full length album then. Yes. It's not a mini. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my first debut album. I don't have an album yet. Oh, it's all singles? Yeah. Yeah, all first singles. Time. Like oh, okay, EP. Okay. Like, uh, it's my first album. So I'm really excited. Uh, there's all sorts of vibe in it. Mm. Yeah, so… Well, it was, was it's like all done, the, right? It's yeah, all done right now? Yeah. How, how was the process? Like, did you have a… Was it uh, fun? I, or was it stressful? Like, if you mm, just wrap it up with one word. Working on the album. Like energy. That's the <laughs> word. Energy. energy. It was like… Yeah. Our team poured in so much work. Damn. Like time, Ooh, okay, emotion, okay. money, everything. And we had so much fun. And yeah. I'm just just ready to release yeah. this. That's good. You that's can good. tell man. Yeah. Man, <laughs> like, man. Can we… Can we crazy. The music video is well, crazy. What's the name, oh, what's the name of the, the title track? The title track… Um, Are we allowed to we, know? We actually haven't set the title. Because oh. like every oh. song is a title. Oh. Oh. Like for real. I'm sorry. But Dang. I mean, okay, well yeah. then what, what's your favorite track then? Uh, we haven't released. Uh, we have oh, the track list yet. <laughs> yeah, All right. not, not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Are, there, are there collaborations? Uh-huh. Yeah, like Ooh. three or four. Ooh, okay, and okay. they're all huge. Huge, yeah. huge. Like, like Metro Boomin' huge. Like, nah, not that level, huge. but uh, <clears throat> hopefully. 
Metro Boomin. We just getting, she's just getting started. So yeah. Damn. Yeah. We're excited for you. Excited Thank for you. Oh, I'm, an, I'm an 808 mafia. <laughs> Not Metro Boomin. You, said, oh, you mentioned yeah. I'm Metro oh. Boomin earlier. So oh, I was like, yeah, Metro yeah, yeah. I'm an 808 mafia. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, Camel. man. I mean, thank you so much, thank Camel, you. for thanks coming for out me. today. Thank you so wish much. you the best. Thank yeah, wish you the best. And good luck, good luck with your uh, album. Thank can, you. the, do, can we get the at least the title of the album? Oh, of the, the album? album is called Pressure Makes Diamonds. Pressure, Pressure makes, makes Diamonds. Yes, sir. Okay. Damn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, you Camel. You too. Good luck on tour. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Yes, good thank luck you. On thank tour. you. Thank you. Hurry back. Let's get it. Take care. All right. Thank you, Camel, for joining us. Um… If you want to watch this full version of this episode for free, check out youtube.com slash divepods. Once again, follow and review this podcast. And thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you, Camo. Thank you. Wait, wait, what's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? Camo KR. C-A-M-O-K-R. All right. There you go. Camo KR. Let's go. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the other videos. We don't know where they're going to be. But it'll be on the screen somewhere.